All right, today's video is on setting up a, a NanoPi R2S as an access point with a Comfast CF912AC. It's an adapter with a Realtek RTL8812 uh, chipset. So what we're gonna be using for this is the Friendly Arm uh, Friendly WRT. So to get started, I'm going to quickly set up my uh, micro SD card. This is what I do with every micro SD that I put stuff on. So this one was running a um, friendly WRT, but I figured I'd start from scratch again. So from here, I clicked on the wiki, which brought me to here. There's a download link. Um, the download link goes to a Google Drive. And we want friendly WRT. Well, that's fun. All right, well, that didn't go as planned. So uh, so what I decided to do was, because I already had the file downloaded on my other computer, I brought it upstairs and put it in the download downloads file so you can see how this is supposed to work. Um, I'll pull over my downloads file. And as you see, here it is. Um, it comes in a zip file. I extracted the zip. I get this, and it's got that. So this is what we're looking for. Um, however, to validate that I have the correct checksum, I down I was able to download this from the site, and it has the checksum for the uh, zip file. So on Windows 10, this is how you can run a checksum. Uh, cert util dash hash file, uh, the file name, I'm actually in my downloads directory where this is, and md5. So there it is. And we validate that it's the same. And it is. I already looked at it earlier. So from there, we can send it to our uh, USB drive. So we're gonna use win32 disk imager selected it. We're going to run it as administrator. We're going to select my file and sending it to the E drive. All right. So we're going to write that. Yes. It'll take a few minutes. All right. And through the magic of editing, we're done. All right. So we're going to exit that. We'll pull this out. So now we got our micro SD, pop it in. Now I am gonna take the Comfast adapter out. So the reason I'm doing that is because last time I tried to boot this up with it in, I think it gave me an error. So we're gonna do it with only, the only thing plugged into it is the LAN port and we'll give it a few minutes to boot. There we go. And I'll flip it up upside down so that way you can see the uh, lights, the system light starts to blink. Maybe this will stay, stay, all right. So that's supposed to blink for a little while and then it'll finally pull an IP address and go online in theory. So we'll probably do some edit magic and see how it goes. Now you see the uh, WAN link up and I happen to know the IP address. So let's see if we can get there. If I type the right one in, there we go. I'm not gonna configure a password, but I will log in. And we're gonna to go to 
let's see. The overview shows that DHCP is working. Everything should be running. Again, so I'm going through the WAN interface to get to this, which should be blocked when you actually deploy it. But for what I'm doing, it works fine. The next thing I'm going to do is plug in our Comfast adapter into the side. I'm going to flip it around again. So you see the back side. Plug it in. And I think I might need to reboot it in order to get it to come up. Let's make it reboot. So on the back side, what I'm going to be waiting for while it reboots is the WAN interfaces to come up. And it looks like it's back up. Let's see if it actually comes up. Nope, the WAN interface went back down and now it's back up. There we go. Log back in. We don't need to reboot it now, but we'll go check out the out overview. And as of right now, we have DHCP, but we also have wireless that is broadcasting. Um, it's on channel seven, which I don't like. So let's go into wireless. It shows up now under the interface. So here, I can scan, change it. So I want to do AC, channel filter six, that's fine. And I don't remember what the key is to get on it. So we'll create a new one of my password. Save it. No. And then save and apply. Now, in theory, we should see it. Friendly WRT. We're going to connect to it, not automatically. Uh, my password. I think I typed that correctly. Next. Sure. Looks like I'm connected. And if I go back to status and then go to overview, I should see myself as a wireless client. There we go. So that's it. It works out of the box uh, with a Comfast adapter. Um, obviously, you make tweaks and stuff like that as you want to um, the name and such, but it just works. Um, probably one of the next videos I'll do is how to connect instead of using the WAN port I will use the adapter to connect to a wireless access point and use the wireless as a WAN so it's a, acting as a bridge essentially so anyways I hope that uh, gets you where you need to be and uh, have a great day